Hey, this is Shad Sluter again. We're going to look at another option for formatting your tables. In the last program that we looked at, we were formatting tables just using spaces and other types of formatting. I'd like you to go to a web page with me to the Python documentation and let's see some proper ways for formatting. So let's search for the uh, website called Python and we're looking at the docs extension. So docs.python.org and I'm going to be looking at version 3. We're going to choose the tutorial section and then scroll through the index until we come to chapter 7 called input and output. So this will give us some examples that we can test and perhaps we can use in our assignment. So I'm going to scroll down a bit and we'll go to a pretty nice example right here that says we're going to print something using a format command. So I'm going to copy this file here and put it into my code. And let's see, let's put the indents correctly. And then we're going to explore to see what this does. So this is going to go through a loop from 1 to 11 and it's going to print columns of numbers. So it's going to do 1 and then uh, one squared and then one cubed. So that's the uh, output we're expecting. So let's run this and let's see what happens. So you can see that our output here is in columns. Now let's examine how those columns are defined. So we have first of all a 0, 1, and 2. That refers to the first element, second element, and third element in my list. So if I wanted to add another column Let's say I wanted to do x to the fourth. I could do x times x times x times x. And let's say I wanted to do another one that was just uh, x plus 1 and another column that just said hi. And so I've got all these columns here. If I have, let's see, what is that? One, two, three, four, five columns. Then in my string here, I'm going to put uh, 3 and then a 4 and then a 5. So it depends on what kind of uh, string you're looking at. It depends on how many columns you need to put. Now the next item shows 2D. So that's two digits, three digits, four digits. And so if we wanted to make this one a, uh, let's say, eight digits wide, and then this one here we're going to do, let's see, that's x plus 1. Let's uh, just make that uh, three digits. And the last one is high. Let's make that two digits. Let's see what happens here when we run our code. When we run our code, you see we have an error down here that says uh, format code D for the object type string. So it doesn't like to say two digits when we do the string. So let's uh, change the string to just a number. Let's say the number is going to be 99. It's a constant number all the time. And so now you can see that we're printing out columns and the uh, number of digits are printed here just like we asked them to. Let's scroll down and look at another one. So you can see through the uh, documentation that there's a lot of different types of formatting. I'm going to use another one here that uses a mixture of words, symbols, and numbers. So let's uh, copy this guy and let's go experiment with it. So I'm going to erase this stuff and paste in a new one. Let's fix up our indenting. So this one is going to also print a table. And this one, as you can see, prints a word, uh, an arrow symbol, and then finally numbers. And let's look at what they've got for our formatting here. So we have a list of things that come in pairs. So these are tuples, you might say. So somebody's name and then a number associated with it. So let's say this is their ID or padlock number or something like that. Or oh, actually it says here in the loop that we're using the word phone. So this is their phone number. Now the uh, loop says for each pair, so each name comma phone in this table dot items, we're going to go through and repeat the process. So we have the uh, format command here following our print statement. This here is zero, means the first item in the table, and this is the second item. 
and then this arrow is could be anything we could say uh, and the phone number is and let's see what that looks like and so we get ourselves a table with that so if you wanted to put in symbols hint hint we could use something like the pipe symbol and run that and let's see what happens we get ourselves a pipe and of course these are both 10 10 uh, characters wide and this is 10 digits wide so if we wanted to change that to something smaller since we don't need so many letters we could change that to a 7 okay so using those two right there you could probably make a table that is pretty much the right width now there's other kinds of things as you can see this page is pretty long there's options for formatting strings in Python but those two here will get us started